This is my latest edition. This is a Winchester Model 74, 22 long rifle. And I bought this Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, in one of the local gun shops. It's a semi automatic, holds 14 22 long rifles. The magazine is in the stock, it's got a tubular magazine. And these rifles were made from about 1938 up to 1955. They have this model here that shoots the 22 long rifle and another model that shoots 22 shorts only. This one I looked up the serial number. This was made in 1948. So it's just over 60 years old. It's in very good condition too. All the, uh, the wood on the stock's got a few minor dings here and there. Very small. Look right there. That's a pin right there. That's not a ding. Very little wear on the stock for a gun of this age. Likewise, the metal on it, the blue wing's all pretty much all intact. It's one of the uh, one of the better rifles I've seen of this age in this condition. And I got a pretty good deal on it too. I'm really happy I got it. Okay, this rifle being as old as it is, is not drilled or tapped for scope, doesn't have a typical uh, grooves cut into the, milled into the uh, top of the receiver for a typical 22 scope mount. It's just got iron sights, which is, barrel's 22 inches long, uh, rifle weighs like about six pounds, I'd say. Okay, the safety on this is kind of a unique position here. It's on top of the receiver, right above where the charging handle is. You can see it or not. Push it over there to lock it in the safe position. Back. Myself, I'm kind of partial to old 22s. I've got newer ones, uh, rear 1022 and CZ 452 and whatnot. But I kind of like these older ones though. There's just something about them, I don't know part of being a gun nut maybe but just the way they're made uh, the wood to metal finish on this is very good got a decent looking stock on here not real heavily varnished got some varnish or shellac on there but not a lot you know you can still feel the grain of the wood not real fancy wood but it's uh, kind of attractive to me anyways and tomorrow being Saturday I take out the range and see how well it shoots I've been told uh, this is my first 22 I've ever had had a uh, magazine like this in the stock. I've got you know the other kind of has you know the uh, box magazine or the rotary magazine like the 1022 or the uh, tubular magazine underneath the barrel. This is the first one I've had with the uh, stock type. I never really cared much for this type myself, but uh, to me it seems kind of awkward. Okay, to load the magazine on this, you can either pull this part way out or all the way out. It's easier just to pull all the way out I think. And just start feeding rounds into it. You get 14 rounds in there or until you see the last round there in the hole. You know you're at 14 rounds. Okay, that's 14 rounds. Magazine tube back in. Give it a twist. And chamber around. And again, there's a safety on top there. Slides back and forth. Now it's unsafe. Another one. Okay, this is a five shot group. That one there doesn't count. I, that wasn't even part of this group. These over here are three here, one there. This is a 50 yards, and this is using Winchester Expert, which is cheap ammo. Shooting off the bench, 
Not too bad, I guess. Could be better. Okay, I'm going to try and knock that can up the hill out there, if you can see it. it's on the side of the hill. Hit it and knocked it up there a few minutes ago. I'm going to knock it around some more. Well, I've still got daylight left while well, I can still see it at all. Okay. I don't know where that one went. Or that one. There we go. I think that might have hit. Can't hardly see it now. There it is. Like that missed. That hit. Yeah, they're invisible now. I can see it right up there on the side of the hill. Whoa. Kind of a dark background. That missed. I can't even see where they're hit now unless they hit the can. That sounded like it may have hit. That hit. Now it's real hard to see. Wasn't that hard, I guess. If you're doing something right. Another hit. Awesome. All right, to wrap up this video on the Winchester Model 74. I had a good time shooting it today. Um, went through maybe about 350 or 400 rounds altogether. Had a thunderstorm blow up, had to put the camera away for a while, but I kept on shooting anyhow. Couldn't hardly see the target though. Uh, this gun doesn't like Winchester expert ammunition. It's, it's cheap ammo and it uh, just doesn't seem to feed very well. Had a lot of uh, stoppages with that. Did a whole lot better with the Winchester Super X, which is a better round of ammunition in my opinion. Always has been. I've used that for a long time. This rifle here, uh, for me, isn't so much a uh, bullseye shooting gun, but one for shooting soda cans, metallic silhouettes, like a wild bush shooting out there, um, clay pigeons. Reactive things like that. You know, things that when you shoot them, they you know break or move or whatever. This seems to be in its element doing that kind of shooting. It's uh, accurate out to 100 yards for hitting a soda can. So I'm pretty happy with it. It's a new addition to my armory. Anyhow, um, if you have any questions about it? I don't know a whole lot about these. It's my first one. Any questions, feel free to ask. Um, thanks for watching.